session and as far as myself I, like on Monday I fire and EMS services in your township went to that one labor law employee law employment law then I went to 20 best management procedures for your township then the last one that evening they had the first time attendees as a supervisor going they had a seminar there for an hour which was interesting then like on Tuesday the general session which is every morning before everything and I attended adopting, amending zoning ordinances. Then we had another question and answer for the newly elected supervisors. Then on Wednesday, August 10 at 8, 30 at 12 was the general session. So, I mean, it was interesting. I mean, there's a, there was a lot to offer, but I think some of the stuff maybe is not even in our league, really. But, yeah, a lot of it's uh, geared for much larger. Bigger. Right? It was interesting. I met a lot of people from other townships and did you think you come back with anything applicable to the Township? Oh, I believe so. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I attended the DCED uh, presentation. We got some information um, relating to the merging of the water and sewer. A contact person, somebody to talk to about that and get some answers there. Um, and co-stars, I went to one of those and brought back a list of suppliers from Debbie so that we know what else is out there for co-stars. There's a website as well. 
Um, yeah, a lot of it this year was geared to stormwater, which yeah, same uh, was more to the eastern side of the state. Yeah, that was um, like one of the uh, general sessions they had. Uh, Department of Agriculture, PennDOT, DDP, and whoever the, that spokesman was with. And they talked a lot about stormwater and a big thing with the Chesapeake Bay because of the water down there. Yeah, a lot of the stormwater talk was based on uh, if you get a lot of development go wrong, but they're putting a lot of pavement down or housing developments. And again, not something we're faced with here. So. But it was, I enjoyed it for the first time. I plan on going back for at least five more. So. Anything else, Mark? Okay, no, that's not what I want. Maybe. Nothing at this time. Anybody else here heading into the back row? Nothing, Keith? Nothing. Okay. If no one has anything else, we're going to move on to approval of the bills. Anybody, any questions on any of the bills? Snow down here. 
I go down and I rake it out in the road. And uh, the bulk that's next to the edge, I pick it up and haul it away and put it in the pile. And then uh, when you guys came along, I think they used the wind whirl it into the middle of the road and scoop it up. I'm not sure, but I never had all that stone along the road. This year, there's, there's a mountain of stone there where I raked it out. Now, whether they went back and cleaned it out, I don't know. I'll have to go down and take a look. Um, yeah, I mean, they've always pushed it to the side as long as I've been here. We've never sent anybody along with it to, to clean it up. No, they've always went left or right. Always pushed it to the bottom. I mean, it, it's really piled up there from what it's been previously. Okay. It's really bad. I wonder if you push two sides over by the uh, phone building. Is that where you're referring to? I'm talking about in front of all the Carbini's here for sure. Wonder, I'm wondering, uh, I don't know how to ask him. He uh, pushed it all one anyway, way. He may have pushed it all one way because the house is on the other side. Well, to keep the dust, you know. I, I mean, that, that's the other thing. When you plow snow, you push it all that one way. And I don't have a big deal with it because you don't want to plow it through the land. Right. But come spring, I'm left with mountains and I skid in my yard. And you get down there and try and mow grass, you hit a stone. Those same people that benefited by putting it there, they're all out there hollering. I mean, in one year, Angeline, uh, so I'm not going to drop me. One of the former residents up there, she just went ballistic. You know, and, and it's the stones that are put there for the anime skid, and I get both barrels. My property gets both barrels because there's no houses on that side. And they all see me out there raking it up, but nobody comes out to help me. So, I mean. We'll ask him about it. I don't yeah, know if it all one way or not, but we'll, we'll find out. I know well, they take it to the barns. He may well, have it off. if it was in the grass, you know, it mm -hmm. make it so you can't mow the grass. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could take a grader and probably cut it out of there and mow it. <coughs> Once again, we'll inquire and ask him about what he's doing in that particular area. And uh, we'll find out. Okay. I'm going to take a look tonight and go home. All right. Uh, we're going to move on to old business. Uh, source water protection ordinance. I do the one. Yeah. 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 So you might want to look at the last few pages of both of you and see, you know, and then we'll get a hold and see what, yeah, what the recommendations are. Yeah, get, get it. Maybe get it over with. Yeah, maybe get over with the other drag of so His stance on it is still then to put it in and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, they can't throw the whole thing out if there's a section that gets struck down, then that section gets struck down. That's just how, how it works, you know. Good. Just back up, excuse me. Yeah. Bob, on your Peach Street, has that always been in the last few years? It's always going one way like that, or did that just well, happen? Oh, it's been going on for years and oh, years. Oh, okay, because Ron used to do it all the time, right? And, I mean, Ron Lokovich did it before. Did he do most of the sweeping before? Oh, uh, yes, once he's been doing it the last couple of years. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I mean, I'm pushing towards 70 now. I mean, so it's younger, actually it's happened in the past. And, oh, yeah. Okay. And, you know, you can understand <coughs> you can carry those people's cars. Yeah. But come spring, I, I need some relief on my side of the road to get that ambulance. Okay, I, just, I didn't know what just happened this year. After. This year was the worst I saw it like that. Now, whether he went back with the boom in the grass and got it back out of there, I don't know. But like I said, we can question Ronnie. Or well, I'm going to go down and take a look. Okay, we're going to move on to the... Uh, Sewer Authority Board Vacancy. Mm -hmm. We have just the one there, right? One on the sewer. Two on the water. Two on the water. One on the sewer. 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 One Okay. And also the Water Authority Board Vacancy? Nothing new there. Nothing new. We still have an application, that's right. 
Mm -hmm. It is Mr. Lilly. Mm -hmm. Let's go make a motion to put them on. I think the board should be filled if we have somebody. So I'll make a motion. I got a question for Victor and Jeremy. I wonder if Mr. Lilly is not qualified. Or what do you, what do you, what do you do for it? I mean, I'm not going to take it any further than what I've always said in the past. I'm, I don't think it's it's best for, for the community. I'm not going to add nothing to that, so I just don't. Why? Because you don't know anything about the water authority or what? No, it's not. Just for your information, I asked a long time ago, there's nothing wrong with this application and there's nothing wrong with this finance report. And then we could call the board. Uh, then we'll go on to dangerous structures. Uh, for the, got an email there. Yeah. For the house in Burnsville, we talked about last month. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, Uh, so if we want to tear that house down in Burnville, I asked him, you know, what would be the process for that. He said, uh, we don't have a detailed procedure, but he would recommend the township take the most cautious route, which would be affording due process to the homeowner. So he would uh, recommend conducting a public hearing on the matter, giving the homeowner an opportunity to be present and object. And as you can see there, he said, even if that is unlikely to happen. Um, we, yeah, we don't remember to get all of them. Right. So... This is what he recommends, send a notice uh, to the last known address and then publish the notice in the paper. Mm -hmm. um, there's a copy of the notice if we want to do that. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we have to do something. I took a right up there today, that looks terrible. Right, but that way it covers us so that we can enter into the property to demolish it if that's mm -hmm. the route we want to go. Um, well, the kids are going to be out of school shortly. Oh, and they're already running that's, out. That's a gold mine. This, we understand that, but that's what we discussed last month in this subject, so that's why we asked about how can we get it out of there, because she's already been to the magistrate, apparently, and served her fine, and uh, she's already been paid her insurance money, and I'm sure that's gone, and so at this juncture, we can enter, if we do this properly, we can enter in and, and knock it down, and then put a lien on the property. This is the way that it works. All right, we're going to move ahead. Uh, we're going to need a motion to follow through this. Right. We have to schedule uh, the hearing. Uh, I think the last hearing we did was like 6:30. Mm -hmm. Is it 6 or 6:30? Mm -hmm. Might let us do 6:30 right before the next meeting. Um, what's the date on that? Uh, the next meeting. Do we need a motion at Or not at this point? I mean, to here. Okay. 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 Okay, so May 19th at 6.30, um, yeah. um, I'll make a motion that we Pursue advertise for a, uh, a hearing on this at 6.30 p.m. on May 19th. And I'll second it. Um, and then to advertise the same notice mm -hmm. in the paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, as for some of the other ones, all I mean, favor. all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Pete, we heard it. Yeah, Pete Cohn, we heard anything on that? He about? has, it's Calvin, he has it's a bill that is May the 2nd. His continuance was till May the 2nd. So, no, we haven't heard anything from him since. Mm -hmm. um, I could have him follow up. He has a lawyer, he's been talking to our lawyer. I could have mm -hmm. him follow up on that. We're going to the May the 2nd date. Mm -hmm. um, but, no, we haven't heard anything there. Keith, you're handling what, two of them? That one down here should be done next week or right ahead of the The old chicken farm. Okay. Yeah, the, ne the next stop's right up here. On the corner. All right. Very good. All right. We're going to move on to the paving project. You had some numbers on that. We have numbers on it. 550 uh, was the two, in two inches of base on the whole thing and then an inch and a half overlay over top. Uh, 535 was 
was the path Miller Shut built up, into those bad spots and then the inch and a half over top. Well, I think for the difference, you'd be better to get the five inches of everything. Boy. Yeah, he suggested the, the two inches of base throughout the Garden Hill Road because it doesn't have a lot of base. That's why it's an alligator and it's spreading out like it is. Um, that was his suggestion to go two inches of base over the whole thing and then with the wearing course on top. <coughs> Uh, either way, you're in that same yeah. 535 to 550. Um, we have 50,000 that we were setting aside in the budget this year. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we're looking at like half a million dollars on that PIB loan. But I mean, uh, regardless, we got a lot of cross bridge work to do there. A lot of right, that. right. Well, that's where we get the $10,000 grant from mm -hmm. Act 13 from the county was for cross drains uh, mm -hmm. and some material there. Didn't cover it all, but that's the maximum of that grant is $10,000. So okay. uh, they intend on working on that. So, um, if we're going to do it, we need to get the ball rolling. Six to eight months on that PID loan. Um, we need to get Darren, our municipal services rep, to intervene on that. That's the process. Um, so we need to make a decision. If that's, I mean, that's all. That's Gardner Hill from 255 all the way to the township line. It's 3,300 feet on the other side of the township line, and then it's uh, Plum Peach and Redwood to the bridge. So that, I mean, it's a considerable amount of paving, but you can take a ride on any one of those roads. Plum is probably in the best shape, but it's got patches on both ends and the sides have been breaking down. And right, hopefully, maybe by next year, the logging will be done up there compared to what it is. I mean, I don't know, the way I felt, you know, don't do it this year, but you're, it's just gonna get ruined for sure. Well, it's, it's not gonna happen. happen, it's not gonna yeah, happen. I mean, you know, I mean, but yeah. not this year, Following year, but won't be that long change of 30 some cross Yeah, right. but, I, mean, I think there's going to be pretty much a mess. going to be able to do five a day. Well, cleaning ditches and everything else along the way, Keith. No, five a day, I think you're getting. What? <laughs> I think there's 38 they have to do. Two? Yeah. I'd say three or four a day, maybe. I think five, you might be pushing it just a bit. I mean, are we going to hire me from the back? I'll make a motion. What's that? We're going to hire me from the back. We'll do so we need yeah. to get a motion. And plus, we'll be up before the bell. We can do five a day. We might have to. We'll do five, five a day. Yeah, it's a, it's a, they can extend that bid loan up to 10 years at 1.6 percentage. You're probably voting me when I talk to them yeah. last year. So it's really, you know. I make a motion to go ahead and for the finance or the funding for it. And I said six to eight months, and this is the fourth month of the year already. So right. So all right, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let's go ahead and do it. I don't think anybody would disagree with this town needs some new overlays on some of these roads. Yeah, I, I got a question. Several years ago, wasn't there a lawn on Redwood Street, Victor? Uh, you're talking about scrap yard? Yeah. Mm, there was. Oh yeah, there certainly was. Where it stands today, uh, it, no, it's it's never never hasn't been bonded since I've been. Yeah, no, I mean, know that. It I remember, remember a meeting where it was voted to lift the bond. Yeah. At one point it was, it was bonded. So, does it make sense to have that road bonded? I'd have to see why they lifted the bond at that time. You know, I'd have to check the minutes to see what their reasoning was. Yeah, was. I mean, I don't okay. remember an explanation was ever offered. Well, I think if we, you know, Go ahead next summer and pay them. Maybe, maybe we ought to look to put the bond back on. Yeah. Well, we can put the bond on, or um, yeah, I mean, it looked like that before they yeah. got there. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Do a little bit of base work there to reinforce the road yeah. because yeah. you don't want to spend all this money and have it blow out in two years. No, so no. And maybe even the owner up there would kick in a few hundred dollars to uh, build up the sub base. Yeah, that would be nice. Would help. Well, uh, yeah, we have a breakdown of the roads. I think that one's about what sixteen to twenty thousand somewhere in there. Because so that's the shortest. Is, yeah, it is shorter. Short. Um, that, but that's all with base repair. When we have municipal services rep, he included base repair. I don't think we have any real water issues on that little piece of road, do we? No, it's just gotten all that traffic, especially yeah. when the scrap prices were up. Really yeah, when the scrap prices go up, it gets it's a beating. Right. Yes. It, it's the same as the Garden Hill Road. When the timber prices are up, yeah. we know they're going to be in there cutting. Yeah, but did you guys get any money for your bonds on Garden Hill Road that's been destroyed? Did you go up there and make them do any repair? 
Uh, we had them give us some stone stuff there to, fit, to fix up some of the well, entrances the where they came out. Uh, <coughs> the road, that road got damaged. <coughs> that lower piece of that road was damaged from the flood uh, in 14, and it's been patched since. And we didn't get I'm not that. arguing that here, but I've been around there. How about uh, Five Points Road? Have any of you guys been up there? We took a ride up there two weeks ago. And? It's rough. Were they pulling them logs down off of there? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we contacted him, well, after we talked about the last time. Yeah, he's been contacted. Yes, he has been. Yeah, but why don't you stop? You know what that one, how it works? Is any of you know how one works? <laughs> How's it work, Victor? Keith is saying my first year. <coughs> well, answer it. <coughs> How's it work? We'll keep after it, and if he has any damage on that road in the end, we will keep his body. That's not how it works, Victor. No, I'm, new. Right. I'm new, explain me, because I've been on about The so damage is done, Rick. Okay. If, whatever, if you go up there every day and the damage is done, you can stop them and say, Sir? either we're going to fix it or you're going to fix it. If we fix it, we're taking money out of your bond and fixing it. They can't move anything until they fix it. But here's the point, Keith. I'm not going up there and fix it. And then Why start, should you fix it? And then it start to fall and we can tear it up again. No, no, you're missing the whole point of it. Exactly. Make him that. fix it. So if he refuses to fix it, we can... Refuse to fix it, you stop him hauling, you take the money out of his bond. He can't move until the bond's replenished. You have to keep it reasonably passable. It has to be passable. Yeah, you couldn't get an ambulance up that road right now if your life depended on it. And we told him that. But he didn't do anything. He... he Granny said he went up and yeah. put stone. They came through and put stone in the first Yeah, he did put stone. They've been hauling out. What about now, 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 in a situation like, say for example, it was paved, I can't have them repave that and then let them go and, and take three more weeks for the timber out of there, whatever he gets, and then say, okay, now you got to pave it again. Hey, I did it on Redwood over there when they tore it up over by, by the bridge. You make them fix it. Look at the last time I was up there, they had stone in it. Well, that's tomorrow. Like, tomorrow, like, tomorrow we meet, we'll go up. Again, it's the condition of the road when they start, and then it has to be with 50% of the bond or more the damage. The other thing is, are you guys it's taking the pictures when you go up here? Yeah. Yes, we yeah, are. are before? Yeah. We have pictures of them before. Before, yes. And you know the situation up in there. There's no drainage. There's so much water on both sides. There's no bottom there. But that's not our not the point, Victor. I know that. It's not the point. You know, those guys got deep pockets. Okay, anything else on the paving project? No, we just no, no motion. No motion. So. I'm going to move on to the fire loss ordinance. I, I looked it over. I think it's something we certainly should yeah. have. It's, uh, and, uh, again, he looked that over for us and said it's verbatim to the uh, insurance law. So that, uh, we recommend keeping that open piece as the way it came, um, advertising it. If, if we want to put it in, we need to advertise it, and then we can adopt after it's been advertised. Yeah, we need a motion to advertise. So, yeah, there's a notice here to uh, uh, advertise it until the May 19th meeting. Yeah, I'm going to make a motion. We advertise this uh, prior loss ordinance. I'll second that motion. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, flood issues, Curzy Run. We talked to a fellow down at the conference about that from DDP. Because I mean, for myself and certainly Rick, we're both in agreement that that entire thing needs cleaned all the way up through there. So I don't have to exclude it. DDP is not going to let it They basically said that. That's my the one that come on said no dredging. No, so no I mean, they just, I mean, the stream restoration, yep. and that has to be on an approved level of some sort as well. What are the three permanent permits that you have for? They were for removing gravel bars. Now those ones that we have the permits on, uh, we can still go in there under the existing permit and remove those gravel bars. So you can't call it dredging, and you can't make it any deeper than the original stream bed, and you can't alter anything, you just go in there and pull out what's been Yeah, well those permits, Christian, you're allowed, I believe, 300 feet. 250, I think. You're allowed to work a, a very confined, small area of the stream. 
In other words, you can't go in there and go up and down that creek for a quarter of a mile. That, that permit only gives you, what, 250 feet. Mm -hmm. That's what happened after the, the 14 flood. They stopped us short of, like, Tom Bryson's, and that big gravel bar was there, which is the one that's down by the senior center now. Um, they wouldn't allow us to go any further. DEP would not allow us to go any further during that time because we were over. We were actually over 11 to 10. Yeah. And you can put, we did one at the senior center and one at uh, below Tom Bryson's, and then they wouldn't give you a third, three of them in that confined of an area or, or else you're dredging. Again. And that's the way to give them determine. three of them permits back to back it makes it look like you're avoiding the permit that you should be getting. Well, it's, there is no permit to go any larger than that. Well, three of them in, in like that short of a distance is what he said. Yeah. You can do one here like we did at Burndale, we did the, behind the, above the fire hall, the sportsman's mm -hmm. uh, down there by Hutton's. You know, those were fine, but if they get too many of them too close together, yeah, yeah. then they won't want to. I mean, it, so. to take any bigger scope than that, they want you to get an environment, environmental impact study yeah. done. So what are you going to yeah. do this year? Pull yeah. trees out, pull that stump out down there by your house. Uh, <laughs> some, of that, some of that gravel there. Some of that gravel. Them trees still up behind oh, you yeah. that Some oh, of yeah. the gravel. There's well, that, the, gravel, the gravel that's there, but it, uh, it has to be what's in the confines of that permit. But I, he thinks that should cover the, the gravel bar that's there. Uh, we have to get him to give us to go ahead on it. So we have a permit, but he still has to sign a new paper that says, yes, go ahead and do this. So. After, after, excuse me, after that meeting we had, I got, I'm not into emails and all this stuff, but I did get a few, you know, my wife helps me bring them up, and, and uh, then I actually, uh, Steve Putt sent me a couple uh, pictures, and uh, up on uh, Cleveland Street, up by Big Hole, and up on, uh, where they did the first reclamation, up there where the tigers have their hunting, they lease between there and 42. In 2006, all it was is trees. Then when Avery claimed it in 2008, he had another picture there because he wanted to know what was up there in 2006 compared to 2008, which was reclaimed. And talking to Robert Tyler, that's his lease, he said when, when they reclaimed that, they came up there and they took trees off that wasn't even in the reclamation area. I mean, I haven't been up there, but just those pictures. So I called Steve back and told him and talked to Bob Tyler, and I said, told Steve, call Mr. Tyler, he'll explain everything what was up in that area. But just on those two photographs, looking at how much area they did remove trees in that, which maybe they went over more than they did, I don't know. But uh, I tried to get a hold of Fritz Lecker again at Golfer's office, and she wasn't in, so I said, have her call me back. But, I don't know, I haven't heard anything more than like two and a half weeks, so. Are you still proceeding with this feasibility study? Or is that dead? Because mm -hmm. DEP says you can't do anything. Yeah. The, the original statement about the feasibility study was that Western Pennsylvania Conservancy offered to do one if they can locate the funding. So they're actively seeking funding. We're, it's out of our, you know, they're, they're looking for the funding to themselves and then if they get the funding, they'll do the study. So that's where it's at. When I see the, the Eli Long from, from the conservatory or conservancy, I ask him and uh, he's still looking for funding. There was one of the emails, I don't know if it was who sent it, whatever, but there was something where they were, maybe they sent it to Freeburg or something, but about the USAC 13 money to get money. So. But the conservancy is asking that, or who? Was well, asking between that? Gobbler's oh, office, okay. Granati's, and everybody that was in those meetings. Mm -hmm. so, and I actually have a meeting with the Fire Chiefs Association with the commissioners next Thursday, so I'll, I'm going to get one of them off to the side and find out. So, if they find the money to do the study, that's just for the study, mm -hmm. and that could take six months, a year, two years, three years, maybe longer. Let's hope not. And then, okay, then they do this study, you need to do this, this, and this. Then you gotta hire an engineer, right? You gotta find the money for the engineer. 
Now, at the end of the line, if you do that, then DEP says you can't do anything. You can't touch the stream. Is that what DEP is saying now? You can't touch that stream? They're so saying, what's the use of doing this? They're saying you can't dredge that stream. You can't dredge that stream. Well, what can't the conservative team will do is plot out a plan to restore the stream. And I know it's all the same, isn't it? Sounds the same to me. Sounds but that, like running around. Right. Yeah. You hear, but I mean, that, that's unfortunately where we're at. I mean, what, what we are allowed to do to this point is clean out any trees that are in there and remove the gravel bars from the same place we had from this before. We're not going to issue any new permits. So the question is, do we, you know, how much? Well, the thing is, I mean, we definitely have the intent of going and getting the trees out the stumps. And, and some of the gravel again, but we can't continually no, we're, be pulling gravel out there. It just keeps coming back. I mean, that's uh, that's endless. I mean, if we, especially near the homes that, by the bridge here, by the sea, those mm -hmm. couple of places, I mean, I just said it before about the fire hall and all that. I mean, if, within the township, if we can go and just correct those couple of problems right there again, hopefully we don't see any more, but the flooding, but I mean, you know, you know, we're flight flight flight. Flight. we can clean them gravel bars out down by Bryson's and your place, but there's plenty up, plenty more up by my house that, that I'm going to sing this. I mean, it's it just, yeah, um, they, their stance is they're going to continue to come back there because that's a low flow spot in the yeah. stream and that's yeah. where we'll always dump out. Yeah. Uh, they also said that that stump was probably part of the reason that that all dumped out there, sure. but we wanted to remove that stump in 2015, and they said, no, that's fish habitat, and they wouldn't allow it. So, again, it's around the other we're working on it as best we can. No, okay, we're going to go on to summer help. Uh, what do we got This one? Fuel grant, $9,000. I'm going to make a motion to use it for Dawson Law. Mm -hmm. I'll second. That's what we do every year. They can use that. Sorry. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. That's what we put it every year. At least that's what we need it every year. And it's, uh, I don't know exactly how. Sometimes it's eight, sometimes it's nine. I've seen it as high as 12. Oh, okay. The yeah, Alpine County Civil Waste Authority Board. Uh, looking for members if anybody's interested. 
Okay, we're going to move on to the MVCOG equipment show and training deck. We usually send all the guys and the only supervisors when it's over. I'm not in the boat. Rick said he wasn't that interested. So. Okay, I'm going to make a motion on that one. If any of our guys want to go to for that training day, they can go over to it. I'll second that motion if they want to go. All, all, in, favor. all in favor? Please. Aye. Aye. Alright, we got a minor cylinder. It is for Carol Eric. Sewage and water lines? Yes, he can't get up the steps anymore. He's got to be 90. Yeah, he's in the bath in his house, right? In the bath. Yeah. Yeah. He's in his porch. Yeah. Sewage and water is in the front. I'll make a motion to approve the assessment permit for Arts and Mini. I'll second the motion. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Okay, nobody has anything else. On a couple of things, uh, I don't know, it was two years ago. Some of this old equipment went out for bid. I mean, there's an old pier. Technically, there's a lot of junk. I don't think we should be storing it. We can bid it out and ho hopefully get rid of it. There's stuff in that other garage. So I think we'd get a list put together what we want to get rid of. Mm -hmm. And we can like put it in the packets and, you know, say, have the bids back by maybe July 1st or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's, well, yeah, the, the, couple things that still remain from the last Would that time, include you know? the old truck that Ronnie Walkovich used to drive? Well, I think it would be. Because yeah. uh, there's no sense that setting up there no. driving away at Ingram's. We may as well get scrap value was just as well him. Because actually, I know we stopped and looked at it. And, uh, I mean, the tires or front tires are decent for spares. Then, because the transmission's out of it and like Mark would say, you're better off just throwing a transmission in the back end of it if and somebody wants it. Is, they, right. The motor is supposed to be half decent shape, but like I said, it's some of this stuff we don't need to set around. Right. Yeah, that I one's mean, pretty well used up. If you have the truck, uh, the paver, and the chip that sits behind the paver, yeah. and the V-spread, it's in the garage down here. Yeah. Um, had all that stuff out the last time. I don't know if there's anything else, but those things there for are definitely in the way and not yeah. being used. I mean, that's a good V spreader. It's just we don't have a use for it. So, uh, like I said, let, let's get a list put together and decide. Okay. Oh, you said you had something else. You have something else. Yeah. Uh, last Thursday, I got my mail. There was a letter in here. It wasn't run through the post office or nothing. 
So I open it up, and it's, it's a letter. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the new supervisor. If somebody has a problem, have it mailed. If they don't want to put the return address, I mean, they should be mailed to the township and via correspondence to the township, all three of us, not individually, because Jeremy or Vic never got one in the mail. I'm not reading it. As far as I'm concerned, if somebody don't want to sign their name or come to the meeting about it, it's no business of the township. That's the way I look at it. No, it is not well. Is it in your mailbox? In my mailbox. That's a federal offense. Actually, I talked to the girl that delivers. She said she pulled it out, and she said a lot of times she'll see that stuff. I got it last Thursday. The way I feel, if it's a township business, it should be a correspondence to all of us. Okay. So. All right, at this point, I'm going to make a motion to adjourn. One, did we decide on the tires yet? How many per family? I think last we talked, it was four. Is it still four? Yeah. That's, it used to be eight, then we dropped. We dropped. We talked last Friday, we were saying four. Okay. So yeah. we should, four is. Okay. Four is plenty. I mean, we're paying all all out of here now. It's all the way that we're used to up to last year. So. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. While he's on that subject, we want to get a dumpster in there now. We've already got a small pile of Yeah, your dumpster is fifty dollars a month while it sits there. You gotta have. But we're gonna end up with a pile of tires, and we're just gonna have to pay the guys. To Load back in. I walked up there. It's not a junkyard. Let's get the dumpster and you're willing to pay that $50 a month to get that dumpster. Is that per resident or what? Per, for, for four tires per household. Per household. Per household. We're trying to eliminate it all. No, no. Actually, I was down here. I, when I have my tires taken off, I leave them wherever they do the work. You know what I mean? It's paid a couple of dollars extra, and you don't have to deal with it. I don't know where they all come from. I actually, think. today I was down here. I talked to Debbie. I was talking to Sid. Went up to see there. Somebody actually threw. It was an old homemade trailer. The whole rear end with the two tires on, and a half half of a frame right in the dumpster. <laughs> I told him said he, do, he was going to dig it out with the back hole and put it in the other car. But, I don't know, like I said, a lot of people abuse it, but... Yeah, I'm going to make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. No. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm adjourned. I'm adjourned. I'll be done. How many of you are here for a scholarship? Okay, so, <laughs> do, you, do you mind giving us your name? So we know that. Rachel Craig. Well, don't be shy. <laughs> Natalie Rose. Natalie Rose. Caitlin Barrickman. Do any of you have anything you'd like to say? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm on the, uh, the county association. I'm actually the president of the county association. Uh, and uh, it's part of the requirement to come, and not many do. So I thank you all for coming and participating in local government. So, uh, How about the field of study, Jeremy? I don't think that's asking too much. Their field of study? You want to, what they oh, want. well, they're high school students right now. Does, does anybody have a major picked out for college? Go ahead. I'm getting a dual degree in math and economics. I'm going to Penn College for welding technology. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Slippery Rock for health and physical education. Yeah. And all that will be on your applications when we review. Yeah. But yes, for the rest of you, I feel. All right, we thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now we can do it. Okay. Once again, I'll make a motion. I'll second the motion. All in favor. Aye.